last episode. Yeah, we talked about exceptions last episode. Mm, yeah. So, Let me that. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Just have a quick look. Do we throw a, an exception anywhere? I'm looking at the, the readme from last week, and uh, we can throw on a uh, do one error. If uh, oh, but uh, no, maybe that's not right. Uh, oh, so I, I will give you a hint. Yeah. yeah. So you can do mono dot error in the same way that you do uh, in the same way that you do mono dot empty. You can do mono dot error, and we will go through the inputs arguments when you write it. But that's the hint. So okay. So we could maybe chain an dot error after a filter or something like that. So look at it this way. You have a you, you need to use mono mono dot error and you need to put it somewhere. And that somewhere is related to what we have today. So if you go through the APIs that I talked about today, one of them gets a Mono. Oh yeah, the switch is empty. Switch if empty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that suits in fine with the uh, filters as well. Exactly. That will be a pretty simple, uh, similar filtering as the test above, mm -hmm. but instead of default if empty, we'll do some switch is empty. Mm -hmm. That's true. I guess we want to assign it as well. Yeah, I guess so. A name. Big enough fresh fish. Good naming. We should indicate that it is a mono somehow. No. I am not sure. I never learned that part myself. But the fact that you made it a specific mono, that's good. Then you just read the name and you don't need to read the rest of the code in terms of reading, readability. Yes. So the switch is uh, if empty, sounds suiting. Yeah. And in there we can just uh, call uh, mono.error mm -hmm. and we'll see what it needs from us. Exactly. A throw mm -hmm. how fitting. Uh, new not found exception, maybe. Oh, there is a prepared ex exception for us. <laughs> or is that just our test? No, that's our test. Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're going in circles. Yeah. <laughs> I think there is a Java not found exception. Yeah, isn't there? There is. Okay. Or maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You can. Doesn't even have fish not found exception. Yeah. What is this? Actually, <laughs> didn't we create a fish not found exception last time? You can use that. You can copy paste. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a car exception, but it's the same. You can copy paste. <laughs> Why not? Get for a car exception. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, let's uh, rename it. 
We always care about cars. No big enough fresh fish. Mm -hmm. All right. What is it saying about the switch is empty? Switch if empty. Never used. Okay. Because you never used your mono. Hmm. I think. So what's the next step here? What's the next step here? So if that one throws, will it be contained within our mono variable that we assigns it to? Or so what you are doing here is that you have a, a stream of fish and it becomes empty. It might become empty. And if it becomes empty, you would interchange it with a mono of error. Mono er yeah, error mono. So it becomes mono error at the end. And then it goes back to what we did last time, last session. All right. Now we need we to, to verify this. Yes, exactly. Yeah. OK. In the same way we asserted errors last time. All right. So then we can have a step verifier created from our uh, big enough fresh fish. And there we can have uh, expect uh, error matches. Or something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So would we have our throwable here if we had a lambda or do we, I guess we just have the mono maybe. Imagine it's similar to the last uh, episode. So. Our, our car example. Okay, then, then we have a throwable here. Yeah, I guess it said so, okay. predicate of throwable. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah, good catch. Okay. So it's a lambda here with a variable, and that variable is a throwable. So you can just write error here or throwable and then a lambda sign. And how was it? So what you can check here now is you can check the type of the error and the message and you can mix them. In this case, just write something that is good enough. Well, what do we want here? You can check the type here. I guess that's the minimum enough for us. And that's then the class we think. Yes. So navigators, please. Yeah, continue that password code. You are on a right line of thinking. Should we check that it's an instance of fish, not found exception, or mm -hmm. or how do you how do you verify classes? <laughs> yeah. uh, is equal equals, I guess, yeah. 
Okay. You, can, you can do error instance of, or you can, here yeah, is instance also works. Yeah, why not? Okay. Or you can do error that class that equals, and then input would be file not, no, fish not found exception that class. Let's try this. Yeah, let's try. I never use this is instance, so let's try it. And then I need to return. I haven't used that one either. Uh, I'll try the just instance of keyword. Uh, mm. This one. What kind need... of object would it want here? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we need to create a new object of type exception. So I guess this is not a good API. Let's use instance of. Why not? Because. That seems to be the easiest. So if you, uh, yeah. Oh no, it it came too intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> you remove the dot, then it will work. A space instance of. Yes. Yes. And then yeah, just fish not found exception. Dot class maybe. Or not even that? No. no okay. No, and the instance of is kind of magic -y, magical. So yeah, it sure is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Should we throw on uh, expect complete and uh, verify as well? Hmm. As we did in the last episode. Okay. So, now we can't have that here. Yeah. Okay. Because when maybe it's just to verify that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because we already have an. Accept uh, yeah, or expect because it won't complete if there is an error. Okay. As opposed to empty, when there is a, when it's empty, it completes as well. But when it's error, it won't complete. Okay. okay let's try it. It seems to be fine. Yeah. All right. Lovely. Yeah, that's it. So let's move to the next one. Patrick, please. Yeah, 